Unlike this board, who received a 20% salary increase, effective 2024, um, and I'm not quite sure what is in front of you, um, but I am here today, and when I speak to others and others are speaking to me, I typically look at them eye to eye, and I see that a lot of you have been glancing at your cell phones or whatever else might be in front of your screens. However, I've now sat here for an hour and a half, and I would like your attention while I'm speaking. Thanks. Um, so, unlike the board who has received a 20% salary increase effective 2024, it is typical for citizens of Fairfax County to receive just a 3% pay increase year over year for those not seeking a title position change, um, if that. As we are all aware, the cost of living has soared since the beginning of COVID-19. With all of this being said, us taxpayers are constantly searching for ways to make ends meet and things to cut out of our family's budgets as these minimal increases in our salary are easily surpassed by the 19% increase in everyday goods and services resulting from inflation. Examples of these cuts include delayed family planning, delayed home repairs, no longer eating out, no vacations, and canceling subscriptions, etc. Since 2019, I have witnessed a 20% increase in my home's equalization rate. However, if I search Zillow, over the past six months, only one of the six listings in my townhome community have sold for the appraised value that you guys are assessing my home at. Um, as such, you're proposing an increase to a tax rate in which you are assessing my home at a premium. I am not alone in saying that as my family considers having another kid, we are certain that we cannot afford to expand our family here in Fairfax County. I'm asking you to take the difficult and time-consuming task of sorting through the budget and beginning to prioritize the needs and wants of your citizens that do not um, require a tax increase. We don't have that luxury. I have taken the opportunity of looking over the budget and the proposals specifically for Fairfax County Public Schools, and I myself am a coach, and I did recognize that middle schools did not have sports um, offered after school. However, is this something that we really should be considering now when all of us are having to cut back? There are many institutions and facilities out there that are allowing students in, middle, in the middle school ages to you know, embark in these sports however they like. However, is that some cost that we need to you know, take on now? Are there other things that you guys can cop? All right, well, thank you for your time. Thank you very much.